Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are tuning in for the first time, my ah uh, shit, cat. <laughs> you really make me now. That's golden, and then you walked in. <laughs> <laughs> So we live in a one bedroom apartment where we are right now is the living room slash kitchen slash dining space And then I'll be taking you guys in for a closer look. So this is a contemporary apartment It is 70 meters square. Let's get this apartment started right after this intro <laughs> So this is the entry of the apartment and then as you enter into the apartment you have this semi entry space and then Tell me you're dating a white boy without telling me you're dating a white boy. We have this array of hat. Over here we have an entry space and we have the keys hanging over here and some of Annie's son's hat. And then we have this snake plant. There's a space next to Susani where they sell plants and this is where we got this snake plant along with this pot. This bench serves for two purposes. If you're here, mostly it's for Annie's son. If you're super tall, you stay here, have your shoes, wear them before you leave. But this originally was a drawing bench. Next to this entry space, we have this standing console. We're not gonna get into it, but we have shoes over there and then shoes on the bottom. It doesn't move, it came with the house. And then right here we have mirrors that you can look at yourself before you head out for the door. And on top of the mirror, we have, have this hanging plant. I don't know the name of this hanging plant, but it's been with us for quite some time. And unfortunately, it died and was erupted a couple times, but it's still been here. Next to the entry space, we have the living room. We went for something minimal, but also making it a bit homey. And then right next to the entry console, we have another snake plant, which is identical to the one in the entryway. Then we made this nook. We have the frame, which have never had pictures. For the love of me, I don't know why. And we are not going to start putting them today. Next to this nook, we have the TV. This TV also came with the house. It's a 42-inch Samsung TV. And then we have the reading nook over here. This is probably one of my favorite pieces of furniture in the house. If there was one thing that I could serve during fire, it would be my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> then this bed. And then ideally, you can have this as a resting stool for your feet. If you want to. This is supposed to be functional and decorative, but for the most part, it's serving a decorative function. And then you have butterflies of Tanzania over here, reading lights, some candle, and another frame that doesn't have pictures. Next out, we have the coffee table. Also came with the house, but the knickknacks and the decoration on top were a separate thing. So I'm gonna run through what we have on the coffee table over here. This is just a chopping board that we have used as a tray so that we bring contrast onto the coffee table. In here is something, there's a story behind this rock. We picked it when we first had our first beach run when he started dating on his son. But I've had this for the longest. I picked it by the beach and kept it in my pocket and I never threw it. So now it has sentimental value. And then this is something that's personally a me thing. This set of keys over here have been a collection of all the keys that I own in all the apartments that I've lived. It is weird and crazy, but I like it that it has a story. You still think it's weird, don't you? And then now we're gonna punch in the car. <laughs> this is the reading nook. Over here we have this big plant. It's a variation of the elephant ears and it's doing so well. But it is a light loving plant. And from time to time we rotate it between the living room and the bedroom so that it keeps flourishing. But so far it's doing so well. And we even have a baby. A new leaf sprouting over here. This makes me so happy. And then the last bit in the living room is the rug situation that we have. Bought it thrifted. They think it works so much with the space because it complements all the neutral creamish tone to it, which you can find it on the throw pillows over here. You can also find it on that throw pillow and a bit on that throw pillow. So before I forget, we also have these throw blankets over here. We got this from Okadeko, the one at Oster Bay. And then I think that sums up what we have in the living room. 
Another bit that I forgot to mention that's a crucial part of this apartment, we have this wooden mimicking tiles and it makes the space look so warm. All right, from the living room, I'll be taking you guys into a dining slash kitchen space. And in case I didn't mention, this whole space, we have an open area situation happening. Hence, you have the living room, the dining area, and the kitchen. We have the sectional couch, which grounds the living room area. And then we have this dining room table that screams it's the dining room area. And then we'll get into the kitchen shortly. So in the dining area, we have this very gorgeous dining space. It's wide and has some gold legs. The only downside about this space is that the legs are immovable. We have this open area that even though it's open, we would like to have the ability to move the dining. We can because the space is grounded. Right on the dining room area, we're keeping everything clean, fresh, minimal. We only have this vase that has some dried periwinkle. Periwinkle, they call it periwinkle. I don't know. In reality, they look like baby bread, but they don't die. And it's just not because we, we kill plants. It's just, it makes sense. They're minimal and they go with the whole decor quite well. Next to the dining space area, we have this countertop extension, which is technically part of the kitchen, but since we can't move the dining table, this space will be utilized for the dining area. So over here, we just decorated this place with some cooking books, a vase. Inside the vase, we have a candle. It's not always lit on, but for the aesthetics of this video, let's assume we always have our candles lit up. And then we have this pizza scoop thingy. That should be familiar. If you have zero idea what I'm talking about, I'll link the vlog where we got this pizza scooping thingy. And then we have a mortar and pestle situation over here, tying up the vibe of the dining area. Another last bit in the apartment is this dining chairs. This also came with the apartment. It's nothing out of the ordinary. It's just like some navy blue chairs with some black wooden legs. Um, I think that sums up the whole dining space area. It's still clean, it's still minimal, and it works so great for us. I think we should move into the kitchen. from this being an open space and having an open kitchen the kitchen style over here is a galley kitchen and it is very very contemporary when we came into the space the only thing we could see was the kitchen island and the kitchen sink everything else the kitchen appliances the fridge has been tucked in and i'll show you guys real soon so to start out on the kitchen space, we have uh, the cooking stove. So the style for this is an induction slash a gas hub and then the gas situation has been tucked very nicely over there. With regard to the kitchen stove, it is very clean, very minimal. The only downside to it, it is a finger magnet and I just touched it here. I can see my grimy fingerprints over there. Anyways, I'm moving on. Underneath the cooking stove, we have some two drying racks over here where you can put all of your washed dishes. We have two big ones, which is very conducive because in this house, we love to cook. If there's one thing we love doing, apparently more than is cooking. And then between the dining space and the kitchen area, we have these other decorative bits that are both functional and stylish. We have a fruit bowl or sometimes it can be an egg tray depending on what we want to fill it. And then we have some cooking utensils over here and then we just have the decorative knickknack. So you have the kitchen stove, next to the kitchen stove, we have another functional and decorative stylish bit to put on top of your kitchen counter. We have two chocolate boards. You guys saw us buying this a couple of vlogs ago. If you didn't see it, I will link it down in the description box below. And then we have a candle and then we have this plant that has survived the best. I don't know what kind, but it's more of a one of those like desert plants. On this countertop, this is the working area mostly for when I was gonna say when we cook, but <laughs> when Anis son cooks, this is mostly his working area. And then next to this, I think this must have been his selling point. How I said that's my favorite piece of furniture. I think this double sink over here is Anis son's favorite thing. No, this doesn't give you a bone anymore. All of the kitchen is nice. And then we have a soft dispenser over here. And then we have a very high tap, which can be retracted, which we think is a very cool. And then we have some uh, plants. This and this, I think, are in the same family. They don't die easily. 
Another thing that I really, really love about this apartment is underneath the sink. I don't know, maybe this is adulting. Maybe I'm just old. We have a retracting dustbin. This is one of the most coolest features about this space. Like, the dustbin and the trash bits are all tuck and hidden. You would never think, like, we store trash under there. And that's on that. Um, next up, we have the microwave and the oven station. This is where we do all the baking and stuff. Nothing technical, they're both electrical and that also goes into the cabinet and ties in seamlessly with the space. I know what you're asking, Kim, where's your fridge? I was wondering the same thing when they said it's a fully furnished apartment but we didn't see the fridge. The fridge is right behind me and it's built into the cabinet as part of the kitchen to make it all a seamless experience. So we have a double door fridge over here that opens up like that and then the freezer situation is underneath here that looks like that. I know, super cool. And then uh, on to the right of my hand right now we have the laundry room which we are clearly not going to open for various reasons. Next up, the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. Welcome to our bedroom. Um, the bedroom it's fairly large for a one bedroom apartment. We fitted everything we wanted in this space and then still a lot of room for two kids to run around. We are the two kids. Um, when you enter into the bedroom, you have this plant that's reviving from death because at some point we made a point to kill every living plant. We traveled, that's what happened, but it doesn't matter. So it's, it's living over here for the moment, but it gets a lot of natural light. Next up, we have this vanity situation and it's backlit. If you guys can see, it has this very warm, goldeny light coming through. So we have this mirror situation over here for all the outfit of the day and doing my makeup and probably any son adjusting his glasses. <laughs> That's all he does. Oh, and brushing his beard. That's very important. Next to it, we have some knickknacks. We have his perfume that he's wearing, we have a plant, and then we have these vases as knick-knack to give the whole decor a balance and proportions. Hey, that was nice, that was nice. The perfume you're using is, I don't think it's spelled a tea, so I'm going to be British and be like, Mont Blanc. That's the perfume he's currently wearing, and then over here we have my perfume station and the light, we have scandal, and then we have Christina Herrera's and that's done on the vanity bits. Uh, the focal point of this bedroom is the bed and it's a black king size bed. It has this black gigantic headboard and then we have some pillows which are both functional and decorative. These do come out when it's time to sleep. And then we have a throw also from Open Deco. We have one side table for functional purposes which also has a frame, a candle and a diffuser. That's about it. Directly in front of the bed, we have a four rug over here. And the most important thing, which is not the bed, we have the TV over here. And this is a self plug. I just felt like it will complete this tour if I have myself playing in the background. And that's on that. Moving on into this side. <laughs> Sorry, I was trying to be goofy. It didn't work. Moving on to this side of the bedroom, we have Annie Sun's office space over here, which is very clean, very minimal, and extremely functional. So he has a 23 inch monitor and a laptop. And then over here, there's just fortunes of Africa. He has a diffuser, a candle, and his lucky rabbit. Part of the plant that we had in the living room, he also has it over here. And then we have a monstera plant over here, which has some pollen soldiers because we always open up a this a screen and cut the plants. But it's working. The aesthetic in here is working. Another cool feature about his desk is that it is a standing desk and I've never wanted something more in my life. Tell me this is not cool. I'll wait. I will legit wait. So sometimes you can be sitting, working, and sometimes you tuck in the chair and it's business. Taking important things, talking to clients. I think this is like super duper cool. Don't ask me why he got this because I don't know. <laughs> it was important. And to make this whole space centered and give it a sectional as an office, there's this rack from GSM that 
matches with the whole decor, to be honest. I did mention that we have north facing windows, so floor to ceiling windows. One word is we love them. Floor to ceiling windows. It is, because I've been outside, but you're inside, but you're outside. And it brings a lot of natural light, which I am legit obsessed. Especially the fact that I love sleeping with night lights. There's always light in this house. And if you do not want to have the light on, you have blinders. Like that. And then there's no sheer curtains or like the blackout curtains. Next up, we have another reading or sitting space over here. We have a throw, a grey throw rug over here and we have a few throw pillows to bring it together. If you guys see, we're still playing around with the same color balances of the space. And then we have another plant over here to match and tie up this space. In case it's not very obvious, we are a plant loving family and we want is it family? The dream is to grow this whole plant babies into like much, much more. Anyways, let's move into the closet. So on this side of the apartment, we have a semi walk-in closet, which is a secluded area we have the closet. We have one climber plant over here. I don't remember the exact name, so we're just gonna call them climbers for now. And then we have our gym attire up there, mine folded, and his son's outfits are over here. And then this place has been grounded with a four sheepskin rug over here. And yeah. then next to the closet, we have the bathroom. In case I didn't mention, this one also gets a bit echoey. I apologize in advance. This apartment comes with one bathroom and one toilet. Over here, we have the sink area, which we have kind of decorated and kept it really minimal. There's a candle, again, mostly for aesthetics for this video, but there's a candle here. And then there's this vase with some greenery. This and the climbers, same family right now. This one, we are propagating it to have it planted. And then you have a mixer, a sink, and it looks like that, the medical cabinet over here. We will not get into it. And then we have the toilet seat right now. It's one of those invisible. It doesn't have like standing legs. It's like tucked into the wall. The design of this uh, bathroom is an all white bathroom with again still in the contemporary vibes. It's very, very minimal. And then we still have the same tiles coming into the bathroom. We have the door mat over here. And then we have the rain shower situation. And then an ink cut here to have your soap, cleansers, the whole shebang. And there's also another plant. All this is separated by a glass though, which makes the bathroom a bit bigger than it actually is in real life. I think that sums up the bathroom. The last bit that concludes this part of the apartment tour is the veranda slash garden area outside. It's a lounge, so let's just go and see what's about. It opens up from the floor to ceiling window. When you open, it's now part of the bedroom, which we definitely, definitely love. Outside here, we have two chairs. This is the first one, and we only decorated this place. We're adding in throw pillows to tie up the space. Ideally, it's still on the contemporary minimal vibe. There's not much going on. So these chairs, we got them thrifted. And then behind me, we have a blanket with a throw pillow. There, just in case we're outside and we are cold. And then we have this uh, sitting stool. Sometimes we do have breakfast outside, so it comes in handy. And sometimes we're just out here chilling or playing games. This game board doesn't stay here, but it's part, a very huge part of our lifestyle in the house. It is the Qatar. If anybody has played Please let me know how much you love it or how much you are really good at winning just like some people that I know. Over here we have the opposite of that chair. This is decorated by a four leather pillowcase and a throw pillow. Behind here we have a palm tree and then we call this a garden space because we have some of the spices in the back. We have some basils, we have some arugula and we have an aloe vera plant which is hanging for dear life. So probably let's not zoom in. The last bit, we have some plant pots hanging over here. This is an aloe vera, this is a rosemary, this is an empty pot too. Awaiting those propagating plants. And then we have a wall of hearts. I think it ties up the personality of the space. And I think we have covered everything in the house. 
and that's it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you had an amazing time overall we had an amazing time showing you guys our space all the things that i had mentioned will be linked down in the description box below if it's not mentioned it probably came with the apartment don't forget to subscribe if you haven't give me a thumbs up and then i'll see all of you beautiful faces on the next one bye what is this the stove not facing windows right mm -hmm. make it a home cut I got that. we're trying to see if we can get vaccinated truth i'm terrified this is still like adrenaline which will wear off real quick i don't like needles